Hello. I've moved my camera for one major reason, and that is... Oh, of course, she moved. My cat was in the window. I opened the window, and Ellie was hanging out. I'm sure she'll jump back up in a minute. Oh, you coming over to say hi to me? Now, let me pull up a full camera. Come here. You've never come onto my stream before. Oh, God, she's making a mess. That's fine. This is Ellie. She is, uh... She's dramatic. Hang out for a minute. Sometimes she'll sit on my lap for a few. Other times she just wants to be on my desk. Did you hear that huff? Like, she's going to go at me any second. All right. There you go. <laughs> so I'm going to try this out for, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm kind of having trouble. Like, I want you guys to be able to see her, but I also want to be in the thing. It's weird, because this is, like, right on the edge of that second monitor. I don't know how I feel about it. Ellie is a beautiful girl. She's very cute. I'll keep it like this for now. I, I have a hunch that once they're not sitting in the window, I'm probably just going to, like, move it back here to the middle. But... I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. See how I feel about it. Um, this game, however, I feel really good about. I'm very excited to play more of it. And this drawer. Just everything's in my way today. Okay. Hi, Lou. Uh, yeah, Ellie's. She's so cute. She's a, she's a good kitty. Whew. Been a day. I, like, um, uh, made my lunch and dinner at the same time during my lunch break today at work, so I just kind of, like, plowed through the day so that right when I got off work I could eat and then just get to streaming, because I didn't want to go too late today. So, let's, let's dive in, right? Why not? I'm, like, kind of nervous from where we left off. So, I guess I should give a quick recap. You guys aren't seeing the game, are you? Can you see the game? There we go. Okay. Um, quick recap of where we left off. We um, had just gone to the police station, and we were looking around there. We were talking to the, the cop who arrested Tyler back when um, everything went down with their mom. And then we saw a flashback to what actually happened that night where the mom was chasing after Tyler after Tyler cut his hair um, with a gun, was threatening to shoot him. We saw some, like, creature that we didn't know what it was. Uh, and then right before Tyler's mom shot him, um, his sister actually stabbed their mom. Um, so it wasn't Tyler, it was his sister. So that's where we left off on the last stream. So, uh, we'll see, we'll see how we dive in here. How are y'all doing today? Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. Crafty goblins did everything together, until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited. Together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house.
tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Mom. I love you, too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. What a waste. These poor fucking kids, you guys. My god. <sighs> the game recapped itself, that's kinda nice. But from uh, Allison's perspective instead of Tyler's. how much of a focus there is on that by just, you know, having us play as both characters, we really get to see each perspective. 
Also, let me know if the game volume's a little bit loud. I turned it up from the last stream because I thought that it was a little bit quiet when I listened to it back. Um, but you guys definitely let me know if it's too noisy. Sounds good? Great. Because right, I know there's subtitles and stuff. Sound is perfect for you? Great. Okay, awesome. I like, I know the subtitles are, are good if the game is too quiet, but I, I like to be able to just listen to it, you know? Especially if I'm like doing something else while having the stream on. And Harvey's being very patient with me right now. He's waiting for me to open the door. So once the game has actually started, I'll just go let him out. <laughs> Garlic? It's been so long. How are you doing? Closing a chapter of our lives, you know? But instead, we spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. Up. Mind numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh. Can't we just have coffee instead? No. <laughs> On your feet, soldier. I want some coffee. Yeah, I do like that running joke of it's been so long. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. That's so much ice cream. <laughs> Just staying for a little bit and play some Hollow Knight later. Awesome. Yeah, I'm not going to stream too long um, tonight. Probably just like, well, I don't know, key. two hours. Dollar sign is donate or sell and All trash right. can as well. Trash. Yes, way, Harvey. I... I hear you, buddy. Been very patient. All right, you guys couldn't see that because um, because I moved my camera, of course. Maybe I'll just, I don't know, maybe I'll move it back. I'm already indecisive about it. So crack the door, right, or uh, to let him out, and then he hid under the table and didn't want to, <laughs> uh, yeah, didn't, didn't want to leave. I was like, I just got up to let you out. But then Ellie was like, I want out. So she left. And then I go to sit down, and Harvey's like, no, I changed my mind. I want to go. I want to go. So, I don't know. Cats, man. Cats. I left it cracked so they can come back. Loki loves seeing people's rooms on stream. Yeah, no, I feel ya. I, I do really like when people do the, the green screen, though. I think that looks really good. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like it better on this monitor, or do you like it over here? I don't know. I don't know which I prefer. I'm really indecisive about it. Whatever. I could mess with it so, all yeah, day. Most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. I love this braid. I never got the hang of of like I think that's a French braid. 
Whatever your preference is. You change the camera angle around like five times before deciding. Yeah, I don't think there's a wrong answer. Hmm. Um, Crummy table and wobbly chairs. Crumbly, crummy table and wobbly chairs. I mean, these chairs don't look really, really nice. Let's try to sell it. Maybe. We can make some pretty good money if we sell this. And I know I'd end up eating on the couch most of the time anyway. Oh, oh, God. that's what's that smell? Oh, we got a memory. I can also place a sticky note on Tyler, which I'm excited about. What's that smell? Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be Stinky Pants Sam? <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. I just want to point out that both cats came back and then left again since I got up. <laughs> okay. Uh, Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. Whoa, we Oops. just got here. I forgot. I can do that now. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Thank you. All right, what's going on with the coffee table? Clean. All right, I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? What? Oh, what about you? Okay, never mind. Oh, Let's no. I hit the wrong thing. No! <laughs> Tyler! I really like that armchair. Maybe sit in it for a few minutes and see if you get used to the mold smell first. Uh, on second thought, never mind. Another one for the landfill. Okay, but the coffee table. Can we, can we please undo the top coffee table? And finally, I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. <sighs> that's a cool coffee table. Whatever, it's fine. It's my fault. Ancient appliances. You are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. Dump in cake. Can of cherries, can of crushed pineapple. Eight ounces of walnuts. Chocolate chips. Flour, salt, sugar, baking powder. I don't know what kind of cake this would make, but probably taste okay. I always wonder where they get those recipes when they throw them in. Is it like one of the game devs like personal recipes or do they just pull something off the internet? What about that dresser? If you want your towels to rot, go for it. We could clean it up. Maybe someone could clean it up. It's well made. Your call. Keep or trash? Um, why, why not keep it? Keeping it. Thanks for clearing out those cabinets. Not my pleasure. Oh, ew, ew, ew. Rob and Sarah. <laughs> oh, God. I can still taste it. Put it away. Say, ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... 
I remember cutting off shaving cream beards with these. <laughs> yeah. I like that Tyler just kind of follows us a little bit. It makes sense so that when we're talking to him, he's not like all the way across the house. Everywhere I look, there's just stuff, stuff, and more stuff. Mary and the magpie. Aw. Yeah, I can see that garlic. Hello, ancient broken down machines. That will be the future owner's problem. Hey, that sounds like my landlord. Eh. <laughs> Just trash for this whole room. This room is trash. But yeah, I remember when I moved in to my current apartment, um, the washing machine was pretty much broken. You hungry? Um, we have a whole lot of nothing. Uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? <laughs> Looks like there's still a bottle back here. <laughs> Ew. Says um. the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Mm -hmm. So good. But yeah, I talked to him. I uh, messaged my landlord being like, hey, the washing machine's broken. Can you guys replace it? And they were like, oh, we don't include appliances in the rent. Anything that's there is just left from previous tenants. So you have to replace it yourself including the fridge and the dishwasher. And I was like, what? <laughs> Excuse me? I didn't know that you could do that. Rent without the appliances in included. I yeah, that was my reaction, Garlic. Pictures down. <laughs> yeah, still deciding what to do with them. They're happy memories. That's I really mean, cute. Most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't oh, think hey, Lou. could throw me like this anymore. Did therapy help? Has therapy helped at all? Oh, yeah, definitely. My therapist really heard me when... I said I was a guy, and she helped me get ready for the reactions I'd get, you know? It's dealing with other people that's been way harder than figuring myself out. At the end of the day, being able to look in the mirror and see Tyler, that's made the biggest difference, which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Hell Just yeah. so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. Thanks. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. Yeah, that's nice. Um, they didn't advertise that they had a washer, dryer in unit, did they? They said that there were hookups. And then when we toured, I asked if there were machines included. And they said, like... Um, depending on the previous tenants. They, they, like, skirted around it to imply that there would be. And, like, there technically were. It was just broken, so we had to pay to have someone remove it, actually. Um, which was a pain. It wasn't worth, like, going through the landlord about it, because we were just, like, bringing in a new one anyways, so it was just, like, an extra fee to take the old one out. Uh, you live in L.A., and half the apartments don't come with fridges. Uh, yeah, like, I've seen a couple apartments advertised like that, and I, I like... That just seems ludicrous to me, because you don't want to take a huge appliance like that from apartment to apartment. I just keep hearing cats behind me. Oh man, I love this one. Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Oh, 
Oh, I hear a memory. Come on, honey, smile like Allison. Hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. My sisters, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I, though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. You love that they call her Marianne. <laughs> you call your mom by her first name when she irritates you. That's good. Ugh. I'm going to slap you to the grave. <laughs> what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. Well, I seem to recall a time you stole an egg, put it on the couch, and sat on it because you wanted a pet chicken. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Uh huh. <laughs> well, at least I didn't leave a stain. Steady now. Take your time. He's not gonna jump up and do the cha-cha. What about me? I want to clean the fish too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh. Only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Allison, when we're done with this half, you can take over and do the other one. That sound fair? Yes. Mm -mm. You're right. I was kind of being a brat. There was a time, uh, mine would have too, but family drama happened. I didn't stab her though, promise. <laughs> Joined by the fire. Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Uh. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, cool. Ooh, tea or instant coffee? I mean, uh, over instant coffee, I'm gonna go with tea. Earl Grey or chai? Your call. I'm fixing myself a good old cup of joe. Ah, a nice pot of wakey wakey juice. Papa needs his rocket fuel. <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind! Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah. He, you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. Yeah, family drama is no, no fun. Seems like my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah, our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. Think they're all still in the kitchen drawer? We should go take a look. All right, we'll check the kitchen drawer first. But yeah, no, I've I've had no shortage of family drama, so I I get it. Drawer, drawer. Come check this out first drafts right because I didn't contribute at all come on I know you did <sighs> I can't believe she kept all these you'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough you know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories uh, yeah she called her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone, but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? 
And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. Oh, no. Do we have another puzzle? They, they threw us into the puzzles really quick. All right. I see. All right. So who who is this? Who are these people? It's kind of hard to tell. That's the the like housekeeper guy. The guy in the middle. Is that the shopkeep woman? <sighs> Poor Moose. Really didn't do him justice. Hmm. Justice? Kind of ironic, huh? Considering he was the lawful good one? Too bad the law isn't really just. You go here. You done? Is So I think that's the... the cop in the middle? If that's the lady from the store, then the pelican might make sense because of, like, providing food and stuff. What's up with the bear? The bear was the most helpful one. He was always around. Stalking her? What? No. I mean, he was kinda always there. Lurking. This one. I still kind of feel like that's right. Maybe you'd just swap these two at the bottom. Yeah. I can't pull from these other ones, can I? No. Okay, so it has to be a combination of these three. I still really feel like the pelican is the lady. Although that's that's assuming that um, that she is the storekeeper. Didn't the moose teach the goblins to fish? Um, who was the guy in the fishing memory? Oh, yeah, who was that? That, I think that was the... It's so hard to tell, because you can, like, barely tell who these people are, just because of the, the animation on them. Yeah, justice. So I feel like the cop must be the the bear, right? Or no, because the they said the moose was the. Say it again. Look. No, it's just not saying it again. Like I feel like this should be it. Because they said that the moose was, like, the the watcher and the provider was the lawful good. Yeah. This feels right to me. Try this. Do I have to, like, back out? Or will it just, like, get it? Well, I, I can't back out. Alright. Hey, Orc! Welcome in, we got another puzzle. This one, like, should be faster. I'm just a little bit... I feel like we got it, so I'm a little confused. Oh, maybe I have to show to Tyler. Oh, okay, I... Alright, I was like, this seems right to me. Alright, I think I'm done. You sure? Yeah, definitely. I'm uh, confident like with this. Apples? You know... I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. The specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought provoking. Indubitably. I don't know if we got that right or not. I. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I like the. Yeah, no, this owl is super cute. 
Like, we got an achievement, so, like, maybe we got it right? And that was that creature that we saw in the memory. Yep. Totally, Marianne. Why a princess, though? Why not a queen? She hated authority. Yeah. She'd have been a terrible ruler. You better hurry, or the Mad Hunter will catch us! We need to hide. This way! <gasps> what's... What's going on? I... I don't know. Is he here? Is he really here? I'm scared. Go away! Yeah! Oh my god. What the heck? Ah! <laughs> What's up with that. the teeth? We've been pretending he was there. And then, suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Allison? Wait. It felt way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Great. Hello? Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Well, hi, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, Lynn. I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. Oh, uh, also got something for you, Tyler. Every man needs a good knife. There you are. Thanks, Sam. That's kind of nice. Good. Good. Yeah. It's a good way to make amends. Yeah, he's he's trying, oh, I guess. Before I forget, for the lady of the house. It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. Fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been able to put there. back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh... I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20 some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Boxes in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. Jen just straight up put a whole fish into a cardboard box. <laughs> God, all the cats are sitting in the window. Maybe well, I, I should. Old bears oh no, Harvey's trick. just leaving. <laughs> yep. Come on, let's go get our electricity back on. I wasn't done middling around in here. That's fine. In Alaska, it's all sort of one big, fr uh, big fridge. Yeah. Just put stuff outside. So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. Hmm. I feel like he wants us to ask about her. You really helped her out, huh? Oh, you know, just a few chores here and there. That's... Maybe we'll just get some more information. I was glad to help your mother. She... No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that darn key. You still have our keys? Wait, 
Wait, Sam, you have more of our keys? Yeah, the one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh, <laughs> figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope, we're good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning, the door's a bit temperamental. Haven't you been taking care of this place? You didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son, give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little... Damn it. No oh, shit. A little over helpful. All right, I'll go first. Well, at least the door is open now. <laughs> what is yeah. this? Is this a car? Well, it's easy enough to fix. Now, that fuse box. Oh, no, no, no. You and... All right. Fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. Huh. What? They want me to know some of this stuff? All right. I mean, I would just be guessing, unless it says, like, this bottom one's probably 15, because there's already a 15 there. Could refinish the whole thing, but it's a lot of work for an old door. What's this say? I wrapped up your electrical board. I gotta run, but in case you want to check it out, careful not to overload the circuits. You'll have to use 15 amp fuses for the garage. Amps... Uh, total up to 120 for the whole house. Sam, uh, uh, P.S. Sure. Proud of myself for once. I've respected the right oh. color coding. Each view should have the right color cable. Okay. Just a bum cool. Me, I it playing ball. Ball. So the ones at the top we want to total 120. Is that right? Yep. And what's this at the top? Generator heater. So the one at the bottom is probably probably correct. Problem must be the latch. No shit. Do I only have a couple of each of these, or can I just place? Oh, I see. Oh, I get it. The colors matter more than the numbers. Okay. Go for a margarita right about now. A margarita? Really? Hey. No. Nope. What's the light. yellow one? Let's try uh X. Let's try this one. Yep. You heard margarita. You hold this. Shouldn't we get this cleaned up before we put it back together? I just want to check something. Hey, uh, you two got any, uh, bear insurance? What for? You and your gun? Mm -hmm. Seems good. Yeah, we got it. Hey, Paladin. You just raided with a party of three. Thank you very much. How did your stream go? What were you playing? Hey, Dave. It's been okay. so long. You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um... Bye. Oh, I, I feel a little bad for this guy. He's just, like, kind of been a part of the house and the family for a while and now he's kind of getting kicked out you're playing cross code might have been frustrating for people watching were you doing like a, a rough what boss or something Take it apart that game track. looks really hard be my guest 
But it sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. A lot of puzzles. Yeah, they are being pretty cold to him. They're like, give me all the keys. Like, stop stop trying to do the things that you've been doing for so long. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist. Instead. You're trying to be a sub daddy and you're not having it. I mean, that's pretty valid. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. Maybe a car. Ooh, or a tank. Running late for D and D. No worries. Yeah, no worries. I hope you enjoy D and D. I hate spiders. If we end up living together, you should know my house has a no spiders rule. Well, in my house, we don't kill them. Ugh. You can take them outside then. Yeah, have a good night. I feel like um, oh, man. I'm they could the sweetest toolbox ever. have him help with getting things ready to sell and not just kick him out. Yeah, I agree. I think they could have found like a little bit of middle ground. I wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. That's that's kind of that's kind of mean. Something got to him. Well, something about it really got to him. I don't think any of us are exactly happy to see that gun rack. Uh, remind me to take it down later. Predator rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes. Jeez. Why is there wolf pee in our barn? Wait, if it's a weird sex thing, I don't want to know. <laughs> You live in the middle of the woods. It scares all the predators. And yeah. Ugh, lovely. Allison, do you know who this is? This is a Life is Strange game, right? Uh, yeah, it is. It's developed by the same studio. Um, so it's not like in the Life is Strange universe, but it's a very similar game. Spiders are scary as fuck, but they keep away worse bugs for sure. I agree. I like. I don't like them in my room. What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow! broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see mom. But she'll get mad. You weren't even supposed to be here. Okay, I do have a funny story about bugs. Strong. Before before I um before I do this memory, I have a funny story about bugs. I uh once once I dated somebody who was absolutely petrified of bugs. Like worst fear imaginable for them. Absolutely couldn't function if they knew there was a bug in the vicinity. And so it was my job to like catch the bugs and get rid of them. Um after like once or twice of like me being like, oh, there's a thing over there, and then needing to like get up to go take care of it. I just kind of stop mentioning them when I notice them, <laughs> uh, and then I just like get them later if if I if I got around to it. It's making my teeth tingle. You got nerves about the knife Tyler got. No one in the Life is Strange game should have a knife. I, I don't want to. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. What? Look. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but 
I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here. Did he call, like, child services or something? Over here, Allison. Saw your chat name color and the emote, and you thought you were Dave. <laughs> yeah, I just learned that you can customize your uh, your name color so it's the same on any stream, which I think is pretty neat. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh yeah, and this little visit right here. What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne. <sighs> I said get out! Out! Dang. What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Yours is green everywhere? That's weird. It's it's blue in my chat. Maybe it's like a bluish green. Maybe it's just my monitor settings. Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Mary Ann, I'm sorry. Please just go. These are so different. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory is a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? He must have had reasons. He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look. Yeah, they're both probably wrong, Garlic. Like, you're right. But that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? Oh shit, we have to choose one. Oh, chat, which do you want to do? Allison's memory, that she was sad or angry? Mm. Oh, that's kind of cool. It replays the audio for whichever one I have selected. Get out of here! I kind of want to choose Tyler's You're a goddamn because it makes more sense. Because Marianne like freaked out later, right? So I'm kind of leaning towards hit. Tyler's being more plausible. Get out. Yeah, I think they're both wrong. I think you're right, Garlic. We have to pick one. Get out of here. I'm gonna. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Or they're both right. Get out of here. Let's. I'm gonna. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Let's go for it. Get out of here. Get off my property right now. So. We agree. Brown came out here and bullied Marianne the same day she attacked us. And then lied about it. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. Hmm. Man, I can't believe Brown lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, 
but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Mm. Oh, it's Tina. We still don't this. know what he yeah. did. J just a sec. I'm parking the car. I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Han, this guy is very motivated. What but What are you guys talking about? <laughs> not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've is that an acronym on over here? Did I mention it would be an all cash offer? Uh, all cash offer? Not the right time. It's it's not the right time. A cash offer, <laughs> Allison. I'm sorry. Ellie, it's okay. I'm just not sure what I don't want to waste you guys are talking time. about. Okay. Well, you tell me when you're ready. Huh. Well, I think I just made Tina's shit list. Oh, okay. Sad and mad together. You know, I don't hate that. <laughs> Which is also yours and Allie's middle names. Fair enough. Coincidentally, 100%. I believe it. Bear encounters. Okay, Ellie just walked out. I'm gonna close the window because it's starting to get cold. One moment. Okay. Window has been closed. There we go. Have y'all ever seen a bear? Like, in the woods? I did once. Up in New Hampshire. I was walking down the street and there were two bear cubs that were like walking down the middle of the thing middle of the road and I just turned around and booked it back to the house <laughs> D and I did that trail a couple years ago we drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit the villain in Shrek isn't that Farquad? Whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The bears? A moose. Yeah. I would love to see a moose. That'd be really cool. I've seen deer. I've seen deer a plenty. Mary Ann was anxious about rocks falling on the road. She always assumed the worst would happen. What's up, Looks Tyler? Like found a nice spot. We've been here before, right?
So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? She had someone who wanted to see the house, but he could only come by day after tomorrow. And you told her no? Yeah. We need more time than that you know, to get things cleaned up and, you know. Thanks. But what if it's the only call we get? And I guess we just grow old and lose our minds in that fucking house. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <sighs> so, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded he like it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in! He doesn't get a pass just because this is uncomfortable for you. I'm not giving him a pass. It's just... hard. This whole damn Gotta head off. Have a great night, hard. Dave. Thank you for stopping you in. think I liked learning all that shit about Tessa? This town... These people... They're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends. My family. Yeah, this seems so rough. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. I didn't come here to ruin your life, Allison. I just want some answers. I know. That's why we're doing all this, right? Outside the city, you have a drive through safari. That sounds really fun. They've got zebras. It's an animal sanctuary. That's so cool. I've been to the uh, Animal Kingdom in Florida, and that was kind of like that. You got a little cart and you drove around. Um. Hmm. I like the view. Let's change the subject. The town looks pretty picturesque from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. somewhere super secluded like this alone in a cave speaking for the trees I do is it really that hard to imagine I just don't think of you as a loner you and I always did everything together <laughs> well you're way less terrible than other people this is interesting that they're just choosing to talk to each other through this twin connection rather than normally. You feeling that tie? Yeah. Where is it? There we go. It is exhausting. You're the star! Okay, now you're the star, and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> you were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? Nah, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. So, not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Nah. All that money would have made me soft. And I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. <laughs> you were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. 
It's a little better. A little bit better. We're communicating. I'm so proud of them. Yeah, they're really sweet. What's this? I like this. This is a raccoon. The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kind of rings a bell. The fox. Wasn't that the death metal kid Tessa used to tutor? Slightly older than us? Oh, yes. I totally forgot about him. Remember that time both the bridges collapsed? Yeah. It was a week before they got the roads reopened. And Sam had to bring us supplies with his boat. Felt like our house was on a deserted island. But way colder. Harv, what's wrong? What's up, buddy? Oh, he's coming over. All the cats are saying hi today. He's just crying, and I'm not sure why. The doors are open, so... Maybe he's just lonely. Do you want to hang out, buddy? Come here. That's fine. Did they show what happened to their mom? Uh, I think came in right after the cutscene. Yeah, so they showed both perspectives. Um, at the end of the last episode, we showed it from Tyler's perspective, and then we saw it from Allison's at the start of the stream. So um, what actually happened was that Tyler was being chased by their mom uh, with the gun. We saw that weird creature, and then right when... Marianne was going to shoot Tyler. Allison stabbed um, Marianne in the back. And she fell into the water. Which kind of flipped everything on its head a little bit because before, like, Tyler took ownership of that hey, murder. Hey, look what I found. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Aha! I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? What I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There. Looking better already. You're right. Way better. <laughs> Thought that was dandruff. So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. Alright. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? I'm still thinking it was something uh -huh. with, like, social services. Oh, yeah. Gonna grab some I dinner. Understand, Mr. Barrow. Yeah, Gotta sounds great. Sure let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be... Oh. Good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm going to take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll make time if we say it's important. Hey. He speaks. 
How's Delos treating you so far? It's been good to see Allison. She's been talking nonstop about you lately. I know she's happy to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. What's the JCE? JCE? You know, Juno Coalition for Equality. Oh. Oh. That's awesome. Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from and will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you That was nice. That was a good chat. A few days. The way to around this way. Feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out. We've got our beaver uh, friend. Yes. You got my sympathies. When we emptied Linda's parents' house, I thought we'd have to rent a backhoe. How is Linda? I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school as the librarian. Oh boy. Fire drills. Everybody's favorite way to slack off. Hey, is that your desk? <laughs> huh? I didn't think so. Move on. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Look at your desk. What are you looking at? Your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her information too. Tyler Ronan. Me her name Good to see you again. Okay. You've gotten tall. That usually happens between ages 11 and 21. <laughs> yeah. Uh, They're 21. Yes. Now we know. My ex-husband. Does she live with you most? Yeah, I was just looking at that too. Like it that haircut looks atrocious. She stays with me on the weekends. It's been a while. Thanks. It's been a while. So, what brings you two around? Want to We're talk to the here chief? to see Chief Brown. Oh boy, what do you do now? Suspects wanted for a felony. Oh, well, don't forget to read him as Miranda rights. So is there anything I can help you with? I don't know if we can just like flat out ask for Marianne's file. How's your day going? Busy day around here? Well, the fire alarm went off three times in the span of an hour this morning. <laughs> I thought the chief was going to rip that alarm right off the wall. All right. Cool. Cool. 6.13 a.m. because someone vandalized your mailbox. Officer Vincenzi was dispatched to your home at 6.29 a.m. But you couldn't stay to give a statement? Um, I had to be in surgery at 9. I was already running behind. Of course. It says here you work at Cottonwood Hospital? That's right. That sure is a commute. It certainly is. <laughs> I refuse to stop being nosy. I will stand over them until they tell me to leave. Always on call. Ah, yeah, of course. Yes. Well, listen, Please really tell me everything. Come in after a 24-hour shift. Did you need something, Allison? Uh, yeah. Tyler, uh, can you come here? Yeah, I'm right here. Hello. I'm ready. Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? <sighs> What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. <coughs> come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement, and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I he don't is know straight what on the defensive. I, to say. I already told you everything. 
I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. This is not going to go over well. Any kind of confrontation with this guy right now is going to go poorly. Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. Miss, so what now? <laughs> of course, Miss Torres. Where were we? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? Hey, what are you two up to over there? Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, mother nature's juice cleanse. And there's a bathroom just past the break room. Behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. Could you go through the full up. details of your morning with me? I was Stop too... Of course. I was too quick. Um... Greg's mentioned something? Uh, you know, Greg's was talking about a fire drill earlier. Are there any kind of fire exits? Oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Oh my god, are we gonna set off the fire alarm in a police station? Oh my god. It looks like Allison is kind of on it. Delinquents! I know! I'm so excited about it. Are you waiting for me? Oh, we have to look at the evacuation route. up to a staircase on the side of the building but it'll definitely be locked from the inside if one of us were to create a diversion the other could slip upstairs and open the door and since you're the troublemaker i nominate you as the one to make a scene i can do that really not a better idea not really not really no right i'm fine with it let's go Let's go make a scene and pull the fire alarm. What was that? I feel like I got a prompt. Maybe it was just, oh, okay. It was just the read at the top. I see. Okay. <laughs> I can just turn out the lights. <laughs> oh, I can just look at it. No, I don't want to just turn the lights off. That's so dumb. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like it's light outside. Everyone will just like look over at you and just be like, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, let's see. What's up with the window? How about saying someone's climbing the fence? Really? I can pretend they're outside trying to break in. Uh, all right. No, that sounds, that's, that's, no, no, no. We can do better. Tyler, what are you thinking? What's up with this? It's just look like books. What about it? I could tip it over. <laughs> What's that gonna do? <laughs> so far, we've got look out the window, turn off the lights and tip over a pile of books. Tyler, I'm not impressed. Yeah, Allison's just down with it. She's like, you know what? I can't think of anything else. Um, I wish I could like pour something over on his desk or seen someone yeah sure might work see that actually sounds okay because they'll come over and start talking let's let's look around a little bit more that's the one I'm most leaning towards but I want to see if there's anything else to pick from do we look at these no it's just just to look at them okay and that might be it. 
What's up with the map? The mailbox bandit. Okay. Well, I guess that's it. So I'm going to I'm going to do this one. Let's do it. Huh. Officer, I I think I saw her. I saw that girl. Oh, which one? Stella Reyes. I'm positive I saw her when we stopped to get coffee on the way in from Juno at Tommy's right off the Marine Highway. Stella Reyes's body was found about 50 miles south of Anchorage. Oh. Oh, man. Poor girl. Maybe they should take the poster down. I'm sorry. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right. Cool. Um, I, I got to do the lights. I, I'm just, I'm way too curious about what happens when we just flip the light switch. All right. Okay. I'm ready for this to be hilarious. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Ser seriously, turn the lights back on. What are you doing, idiot? All right. I'm in position. What now? Turn right to the edge of the station and follow the side of the building. Wait, no, you're right. It worked. <laughs> It worked, what? Okay. So now we go out and around. You know what? Fine. I thought it was going to have to be bigger than that. You had now? Um Need to smoke. Yeah, I need to smoke. You should think about quitting. Only gets harder the longer you do it. Yeah, I know. While you're at it, get your sister to stop, too. Winter air. Okay. By the door. Come on. Not that one. This one. I still can't believe that worked. sure there wasn't like a memory or something coming up okay guys we're gonna get in so much trouble how old is brown 38 oh wow graduated really young youngest officer to ever join the dcpd if eddie catches us in here there's no turning back now Yep, we better just get the information we need and get Some out. Files. Huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. This guy has a record and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. Robbery, There's paraphernalia, and um, avoiding arrest. I think the armed robbery is the only like it's the only one that seems weird. Yeah, like they're stomping around like normal. Seriously? You're gonna try to hack into his computer? We're here for information. I don't know if the it's called hacking if it's just left others. open. Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't I don't know. But there's a reference number. R six eight six five three. Good to know. Oh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner. Oh yeah, 
Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. Um, when I worked in an office um, before, you know, working from home, um, if anyone ever left their computer unlocked at their desk, we would uh, change their desktop background to a picture of David Hasselhoff, and we would call it getting hoffed, and would just like make a huge deal about it. And uh, it escalated to the point where one of my coworkers bought a uh, life-size cutout uh, of Hasselhoff, and they would put it on the desk. Um, so you'd, you'd like come back to your desk after getting a coffee and like there'd be this thing set up and your computer would be Hasselhoff. And it was like, it was really funny. And eventually it just like went too far and people started to get upset. <laughs> Thought it was funny. Please remember your presence Wednesday, November 11th, 1300 hours. Um, I need to say... Uh, so speak now if you can't attend, and I'll reschedule. As I said this morning, we'll be talking about implicit bias. This is not punishment and has nothing to do with this dismissal of Randy Spears. We can all benefit from this discussion no matter who we are. Interesting. Miss Office Pranks, you know, me too. You hit reply all, Sherlock. Sounds like my office. Again. <laughs> One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Discharge. Was this the new guy? Probably. Yeah, and this is his, uh... He might work. Aw, look at you. Allison Ronan. Perfect daughter. Aw, that's cute. Okay. No, 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 no. Back. This one. Hey, it's a collectible. I'm going to steal oh. it. Hey, you. Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events. Huh? Oh yeah, the community social. We volunteer to help. It sounds like she's in the next room. And more importantly, you tell the cops on who. He is in charge of the shooting. This doesn't seem important. We've got to get to the important stuff. Can we get into any of these? Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. I'm telling you, I think he was calling social services. Why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of Fire Week? Oh. Where's he find it? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. Dang. More backdoors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. Yeah, that, that's that's 
that's a big deal. Transactions are prorated through March 7th. And that's just to like, I'm trying, I want to know if this is like one month or if it's like the whole thing. It's probably just a you month. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? What? But this says accepted. Well, uh, this letter says you got in. What the hell? The kid just turned it down? I'm sorry, Allison. That's weird. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It's like the first thing was like like maybe maybe a, a good thing that he was pitching in to help pay for this you know camp rather than juvie brown really wants everyone to know what a fine upstanding citizen he is about Does hiding information to keep her around here makes me feel even worse i think it was a summer camp i don't think it was a college was it a college Oh no, it's a door Please code. Me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <sighs> Seriously? Go on, try. Dum da dee do. <laughs> sure. You're pressing the wrong numbers. Yep. It's a little hard to, to select them. You're pressing the wrong numbers. Try two, three, seven, eight. You're pressing the wrong numbers. Uh, missing chunks of the story, so you're not sure what's relevant or what's not. Yeah, it's a little hard to say right now because the memories are so jumbled. How did that tune go again? Dum da -de do. I'm sorry. I don't think I got that. Dum da -de. Oh, <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you never told me you had perfect pitch. Shut up. You're pressing the wrong numbers. What? I guess it would be eight, nine. Ah! I assume it's You're not the, the ones numbers. that are clean. Or maybe they want it to be the other way around. I don't think that's the right order. Now I just I kind of want to just so it's maybe because it's only four numbers it is these ones that are more dirty especially because the unlock button is like that I thought the clean ones would be the ones that are used more but oh and these ones aren't um... the first two seem to be right oh shit what did I do for the first two. Nope, nope, nope. Only 24 different <laughs> possibilities. Shut up, Allison.
No, that's not right. It would help if they were, like, in, uh, like, whatever you call it, order of pitch. So it's not that. You're pressing the wrong I know, I know, I know. That seemed right. The subtitles tell the noise that they make. I didn't even think about that. Thank you. So... Da... Dumb. Okay, so that one's... You're pressing the wrong numbers. Alright. Dumb... Da... The... Do. Yes. Thank you, Garlic. The simplest puzzles are the hardest. Uh, looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-ton sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? <laughs> because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R68653. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. Oh, it's just on R six eight six, right? Here we go. My memory's not that shit. Just mostly. Looks like a step by step record of the investigation. Well? So far, I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. Oh, welcome back, Allie. Yeah, what'd you eat? Haven't missed too much. We um, snuck into the archives at the police station. Um, where's the computer at? There it is. Chili dogs, yum. All right, I'm in. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March 1st, 2005. Okay, how do I... There we go. Kimmy is raiding with a party of five. Hello! Thank you so much. Welcome in. References. Autopsy report. How is everyone doing? Have you all seen this game before? This is a blind playthrough for me. Is that all for these documents? Zero five R sixty one eight eighty nine. I feel like I should be getting more information here.
first time, what's it about? This is uh, very similar to the Life is Strange series. And um, there's a bit of a mystery going on with uh, these twins' uh, mother. So um, the TLDR of what's happened so far is Tyler here is transgendered. And his mom did not react well to this when they were growing up. Um, and at one point she, she cracked or there was something supernatural going on even. We saw some sort of like monster and she attacked him um, and uh, the, um, the mom was then stabbed by Tyler's sister Allison who is outside right now. So right now we're trying to look into more information. That's the quick TLDR of what's been happening so far. Okay, so we're trying to look into these these archives. Um, and when I read this document, it seems... Oh, I see. There's a new storage number, and then we go and we check that other case file. I get it. Okay. 05R61. Um, did we figure out anything new? Yeah, just that, that Allison was actually the one that, that did the stabbing. I found a summary of everything. Wow, this is a real detective novel. Brown's quite the wordsman. He's not a writer, Tyler. Crime summary. On March 1st, 2005, around 2200, the victim, Mary Ann Ronan, a 41-year-old white female, exited her home and entered her garage to start loading a Razzler 3121mm shotgun. Uh, shortly after her child, minor's name redacted, uh, Ronan, 11 years old, entered the garage to display a new haircut given by his sister. Um, according to witness, uh, statement when she saw the child's haircut Marianne became enraged and threatened Ronan with shotgun Ronan fled the garage towards the lake calling for help Marianne followed still armed onto the deck onto the southern side of the property hearing the noise witness also came out of the house towards the dock where she observed um, minor Ronan under threat of Marianne defend themselves by stabbing mother with a pair of scissors uh, at that time, witness state M.A. Ronan, uh, Marianne, lost consciousness and fell into the lake. At 2229, uh, Delos Crossing Police Department received a phone call detailing the incident. Uh, officer was dispatched to the scene. Upon arrival, they set up a containment of the scene, began crime scene log, and started tending to both juveniles. On March 1st, 2005, Officer Christian Holt notified his partner, Officer Eddie Brown, by telephone of the incident before being dispatched to the scene. Holt and Brown arrived at the scene at 22.58 hours. They noted, noted the crime scene uh, was located entirely outdoors. Uh, Cannery Road is a secluded road, mostly comprised of a few residential cottages. Hmm. Your head now, garlic. Have a great night. Thank you so much. Why did Tyler take the fall? Yeah, um, that's a good question. And then this is this is all pretty much stuff we know. My roommate is cooking. I'm going to close the door really quick. I can smell the food. It smells really good. Okay. Victim threatened her child with a gun. Child stabbed her with a pair of scissors.
Hey, Loof. Welcome in. And then what was this other one? Oh, we got more stuff. Okay, well, let's check. The autopsy report first is 05R62. References 05R62766. We we are on an emotional roller coaster with this. I'll I'll say that. Zero five R six two. It could be. I didn't. Not this one not either. That one. Uh, where's the damn box? Well. Tell me what it is again, I guess. R62, 766. 766. Let's see. Unless that was just this one. But we already looked at this one. Oh, it was this one. She... I thought we'd already looked drowned. in it. What is it? She drowned. Stab wound was not fatal. What? Damn. All right. It's a load off of the uh, personal responsibility, I suppose. I want to see if there was any, like, anything else. No blood toxicology. Oh, alcohol. Okay. Alcohol in her system. He's coming up the stairs. What? What do I do? Stall him. Stall him. No shit, Sherlock. Get him into his office. Tell him you need to talk in his office. Crossing Police Department. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? I can hear you. It, it's my mom. She she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're at home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! Dang. This was the same one? Dello's Crossing Police yep. Department. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Uh, hello, I can hear I you. I guess that's the only one. It's my mom. Let's try Eddie Brown. Okay, where are you now? Too many documents. Home. We're home. That's a new one. Alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? Fax report. Twelve Cannery Road. Zero five zero one com. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Zero five. 
no meds. Yeah, she was talking about, or like she had a prescription. Um, so it's possible like she wasn't taking them. This one looks like it. Okay, here it is. Jesus, unbelievable. Brown reported Marianne Child Services. I was right. I got we? it right. What's going on? I mean, like, that doesn't seem too surprising. Like, it was very well known that she was having trouble feeding her kids. Right, like, the the convenience store uh, owner was just giving them food. See, was there anything else? Child services. Ronin children. 05R68. Misc. I need to check out 05R68 MISC. Why is that here? Hospital release. Description of symptoms, pressure in the head and headache, loss of consciousness, nausea, dazed. I, Tessa Vecchi, hereby release St. Meadow Clinic from liability following patient as per terms of this release agreement. I've read and understood this hospital release form. Okay. Let's go cross-reference this again. Two thousand five two zero one five references two thousand five two zero one five four six. There. Wait, what the hell? There it is. Not surprised. Okay. Okay. Marianne entered Ven Vetti Vecchi, owned by Thomas and Tessa Vecchi. Miss Vecchi stated that she observed Ronan browse the aisles for approximately 10 minutes while chatting distractedly. With her, Ms. Vecchi stated that she was behind on uh, behind the cash register and did not have direct eye contact on Ronan at all times. Vecchi stated that after those 10 minutes, Ronan asked Vecchi if she could have any organic mosquito incense in stock. Vecchi informed Ronan that she did not, but she stated, or she stated she believed that this demand was odd due to the winter season. Um, Ronan left without purchasing anything else. Veggie stated that after approximately five minutes, she walked back through the aisle where Ronan had been and discovered a missing box of detergent. Veggie states that she had very recently restocked the shelves and no one else had been in the store that morning. Veggie stated that she suspected Ronan of shoplifting before in the past, notably while in the company and possibly with the aid of Ronan's two children. Veggie stated that she also had reason to suspect Ronan to be guilty of child neglect. They don't eat and are exposed to all kinds of inappropriate influences. Veggie believed it was possible some form of abuse may have been occurring at home. Yep, pieces are starting to come together. Need to get moving. 
Not until we take one more. Oh, never mind. All right, <laughs> we saw everything. <laughs> He's coming your way. Get out, Uncle. I, we didn't mean I'm to. I'm not gonna repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said, move it. H hey, get off me. Rather spend the night here. Come on. I said, don't fucking touch me. Go on. And consider yourselves lucky, your family. You're right. Family. And for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa... Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to talk. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. You're saying Tessa reported her mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. Right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. So this is kind of hard because to what I'm seeing is that, you know, Tessa very clearly saw that there was something wrong here, you know? Where she, she couldn't afford food, she was stealing supplies, she was asking for strange things. Like, that doesn't feel wrong, but I know from their perspective, they think it is, right? And so it makes these choices really difficult. Because Tessa didn't stab her in the back, Tessa was looking out for her and looking out for her children, right? So I guess we'll go with this one. I just don't want to so blame word for it and him. Child services. Failure to provide adequate food, lack of appropriate supervision, inattention to a child's psychological care. Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. Yeah, harder to see the situation when just you're in it. You're absolutely right. Right. Is that why you came over that day? The day she died? To warn her about social services? She loved you two so damn much. She deserved a chance. I... I didn't see it coming. She... I don't know. Right there, she... Must have decided it was over. I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. He should have just been honest when they and started asking questions. Just like that, huh? 
Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I think the only one who's to blame for the mother's death is her herself, years, is Marianne, right? I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to All be All these angry. people failed Marianne and these kids. Being a father? Yeah. Well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler. You yeah, know? like clearly Marianne needed help, right? But also, you know, sh she was, you know, pointing a gun. And I don't feel like anyone could have really prevented that. Unless it was to intervene. It's weird. I'm open to getting there. But it's gonna take some time before we're a big, happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust. But you've got a place here whenever you need it. I want to lean towards the nicer options. Um, we get re-offered the ring. See, that's kind of sweet. Group hug? Uh, right, it could have been prevented entirely yeah, if absolutely. she had had better support. You're right, Allie. Yeah, oh, these situations are not that. black and white, that's for sure. Yeah, and I'm as wicked as it gets. It almost feels like this was too positive of a resolution between the two of them. Like, I feel like there was only the nuclear option or the or the make peace option. There wasn't any kind of weird middle ground. Yeah, that's my point. I'm shocked we didn't get arrested <laughs> for breaking into the archives. Story. Hey, you know the drill. Chin up. Yeah. Chin up, stand tall. Atta girl. <sighs> I could use a beer. It's noon. Which means that by the time I drink one, it'll be afternoon. I can't be expected to enjoy my pulled pork sandwich without a cold one. Are we still on the See, that's a solid yeah, point. Sure. I'll text you. Oh man, I would kill for a pulled pork sandwich. I think I think I'm I'm good here. I'm ready to to move on. Yeah, perks of knowing a cop. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa? Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Oh my god. Children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> This game is sad. Maybe we should be this mad squad. Where is everybody? Tessa's gotta be around somewhere. 
that fits that game, this game pretty well. I think well. I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. Well, let's check the office. What do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with you last week? going on back here hopping off well thank you so much for hanging out Ali really appreciate it are you gonna stream I'm probably not gonna stream that much longer to be honest probably only like another 15 minutes you two just can't stay away huh unfortunately we're looking for Tessa again well, she took off about half an hour ago sorry Do you know if she'll be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. Finishing up Tomb Raider? Awesome. Cool, I'll see you over there later. How about Tom? He busy? He's been in the office all morning, so who knows? But it's Tom, so it's probably safe to interrupt him. I thought you were working at the diner today. No, I switched shifts because I wanted to get some sleep, but it turns out I was also scheduled to work at the store. Oh, and I realized I forgot to do shout outs. I need to get a command that'll do this automatically. But, um, who rated early? We had Paladin. And Kimmy. Definitely go check these people out if you have not already. They are wonderful people, and I love their streams. You're gonna work yourself to death, you know. Yeah, well, I can't really. Turn Eventually, I'll get better at that. Be a bitch. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm gonna get my act together. It's always love to think. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm sorry I didn't do it right away. I'm like, I don't know. I feel like I'm still learning all of the uh, all all the stuff. To streaming, like I, st I'm, st I still feel new at this. Like I'm getting more comfortable with it, but I'm definitely still Hello, learning. Tyler. Can I help you? Trying out a new game. What are you playing? Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time. But is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe. Actually, I. Uh, we were over at the police station, and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Um, I don't know if we should, like, come out and say it. Let's, let's ask. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two to make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? I can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? 
vaguely, but I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. We're super accusatory. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt... resistance from people around here. To put it mildly... Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. We need the truth to heal. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? He said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting. So, don't be late. Uh, yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who our father might have been? I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. But look, I... Oh, gosh. Uh, I I'm sorry. I really have to go. Michael, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Hey, sure thing, boss man. See you later. Interesting. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Mmm, so tempting. Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Got it. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can't we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm going to start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. Hmm. Well, it sounds like we're going to be going to the cemetery. I think this is a good place to stop. I kind of want to break this up a little bit um, over the next like week or so. And I know the episodes are relatively short. So um, I think I think this is a good spot. Um, thank you, everybody, for hanging out. I really, really appreciate it. Um, thank you again, Kim and Paladin, for the raids. Um, you guys are awesome. I'm excited to watch more of your streams. And let's see who we can raid. I'm ready to get some food. I'm hungry. Let's see.